Photographing marine life at an aquarium seems at first easier than finding and photographing it in the open sea, but it is a specialized type of photography, not without its own special challenges. Most of the exhibits that are outside here at the aquarium are pretty bright, and on a good sunny day, boy, the contrast is terrible. Uh, we try to, if possible, photograph on a cloudy, overcast day, keep the sun at an angle where it's not going to look too contrasty. Um, we try to look for something different each time. It, we can't photograph it the same way, the same every time. We like to get them at the peak of action or doing something. Uh, since the pictures are used for publicity, we'll try to get people in the background showing that it is at the aquarium as opposed to uh, plain background, which we try to get in a lot, a lot of other things we want to show they're in the wild or the dolphins aren't in the wild, they're actually they're performing in a show and we like to show the interaction between keepers and dolphins and uh, people having fun at the aquarium. The dolphin doesn't jump or do each trick many times over. He'll do it two or three times and you've got to be ready and get the picture when he does it. Pretty much got to use a fairly high shutter speed of 250th of a second or higher even. Uh, there, the bright sunny days is a big help. You can, you can uh, use a faster shutter speed. Outside of that, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We usually don't filter. We don't use polarizers with the water because we're constantly moving around. We spend more time adjusting a polarizer or changing a filter than, than uh, we would shooting. Most animal pictures, it's not like a standard studio setup or something that you can set it in one place and leave it sit there and it's going to move within a limited they're limited to a fish tank but when you're shooting a something that's fairly small you're chasing it all over the tank a lot of times or a dolphin or a whale or what have you um, and filtration would change the sun comes out the sun goes in the dolphin moves here he moves there uh, so we've we've got to pretty much stay flexible with a couple of lenses and a camera. We use a motor drive to get rapid sequence of pictures. But outside of that, um, it's a pretty straightforward thing that almost anybody with a moderate price 35 millimeter camera can do. Other aquarium shots require more professional equipment and a more elaborate behind the scenes setup. In the work area behind an exhibit, Bill places strobes over a tank. These provide more light for the exposure while retaining the natural look of the lighting. Fish are normally seen underwater by sunlight. There is no other light outside of that, so I'll, I'll light them pretty much the same way the aquarium people have lit the tanks. I'll use large speed lights. The, the, there's a lot of water, it's, it's salt water. It does cut down the light quite a bit. Lighting is arguably the most important part of any underwater shot. Water gradually and selectively filters all the color out of light until at a depth of 60 feet or less, only the blue light is left. Under these conditions, even the most colorful underwater scene will look monochromatic. Flash has provided the answer by putting a close source of pure white light back into the scene and restoring the colors. Once Bill has tested the flash from these units, he hooks up a long sink cord which will fire the flash every time he squeezes off a shot. Shooting little fish or medium-sized fish in the, in the, in the tanks, uh, I, sh I usually try to keep the camera really perpendicular to the glass and right up against the glass to avoid the distortion from the, from the glass. The glass is quite thick. Some of the tanks, it's an inch, inch and a half thick, and if you shoot at an angle, it's adding quite a bit of unwanted glass in front of a lens and it really really damages the sharpness so we try to try to get head on to the glass uh, but I'll move in, in and out to focus rather than cranking the lens back and forth because it, it is quite a bit to, to turn it when, when you're shooting things almost half size or quarter size. Amateur photographers can't preset lights but taking the flash off the camera and aiming it from above may help and there are other things you can do. One of the best things is not to come on a crowded day pick a day when it's not too too crowded at the aquarium, but just a simple handheld electronic flash held up high uh, on the tank and pointed in the same direction the camera's pointed, never pointing so the light's going to bounce off the glass and back into the lens, and held right up against the glass, and that's, that's a good time to really keep the camera lens right against the glass. It avoids the reflections. Light will bounce off glass, much like a, a pool ball bouncing off the cushions on a pool table. It, it 
hits at a certain angle and it bounces off at the exact same angle. Uh, but if the, if the light's held pretty high above it, above the fish and uh, off to one side, you usually have pretty good luck. Uh, remembering, of course, that the, the glass being so thick and the salt water is going to cut down the amount of lights. So you've got to, got to experiment with, with, with the light a lot. There's really no hard and fast rules. We use a, an exposure meter, but I'll still bracket the exposure for important things or almost anything uh, where, where I can. A lot of times I don't have that luxury of something's happening. I've got to do it then and there. But most of the time we'll, we'll try bracketing exposures because it is such a it's such a touchy thing. If the fish is down close to the bottom and it's a light sand tank, the sand will reflect a lot more light up to the fish, uh, giving it a lot more fill light underneath, so it'll, it'll appear brighter. Uh, but it's the kind of thing you've got to really do a lot uh, to get the little nuances of it. Um, but for the average person coming through, a lens that'll focus fairly close and a, a small electronic flesh unit suffices and you can do you can do fantastic stuff with it. Down at the aquarium I particularly like the whales. I think they're an easy thing to photograph. I like them just as personable animals. Um, they're constantly moving, they're constantly changing expression, position, pose. On a bright sunny day I find there's enough light to photograph them from, from the windows downstairs. Um, you could stand there for almost hours on end just photographing whales and come up with a different picture each time you push the button.